what has happened in one year of GDPR so far and what impact did it have on businesses maybe in the US as well? I think in the past year we haven't seen a total transition yet from GDPR. The biggest change we saw was in the two years leading up to it and all the work that was done within U.S. companies to set those foundations in place to comply. So we're still in the wait and see stage of seeing how GDPR plays out. And what consequences of the GDPR have to be talked about now? Well, I think there, there are very positive consequences of GDPR, quite honestly, and those are the ones we should be focusing on, is the ways in which companies are beginning to shift uh, their thinking around data privacy to a more global perspective that fits in with the standards of GDPR. Data privacy and GDPR compliance, what are the challenges there? Well, there's numerous challenges for companies within GDPR and data compliance. I think the biggest one is really setting out the foundations within organizations to ensure that we have the right number of people in the right parts of the company helping to hold up what we have built. How do you predict the GDPR's development in the future and what would your advice be? I think the GDPR is truly shifting the way in which companies and individuals think about data privacy. It has brought it to the forefront of the conversation where in the past it was not something that people outside of the legal community were really discussing. So I think that GDPR is going to continue to help us talk about data privacy in a constructive way that brings about helpful structures uh, throughout organizations and throughout governments as well.